anyway. For people who haven't played this before, Greg, can you describe Yeovil for us? Sure. It's a virtual world where people can create a character, decorate their apartments, uh, chat with other users around the world. Uh, it's pretty much, I'd say, it's turned into a huge community where people have met each other. There's been people that have got married. There have been uh, numerous amazing stories where people have uh, been able to really express themselves through, again, decorating, meeting new friends, so on and so forth. Seriously, you mean that they met in the virtual world and then hooked up in the real world? That is correct, yes. Wow. It was a bit before its time, too. You know, it was one of the first of these sort of virtual world games. What was your reaction back then when Zynga wanted to buy it? It was actually all happened very fast. Uh, within a month of launching Yeovil, uh, Zynga had approached us to, to acquire it. And again, things happened very quickly. We sold to Zynga. And it, uh, at the time we sold it, during that first month, it had gone from zero to about 100,000 users a day. Uh, it was actually quite overwhelming at the time. Is this a bit ironic then that the little guy who created the game makes it big by selling it to a major game developer and is now attempting to buy it back? Uh, it is actually quite ironic, I'd say, in the in the grand scheme of things. It, it has come full circle. I guess it's now coming on six years in May. And I, I guess what's amazing about it to me is the community that built up mostly during the initial few years of launch are often the, the players that are still sticking around today. And it's those players that really want to save Yeovil. Yeah, why do you want to save it? Well, I think that there's a little bit of nostalgia that definitely factors into it. It's something that I, I put a lot of time into before selling it to Zynga. And it's kind of neat to also see the outreach uh, from the community that they really want to see this saved. Um, and to be able to help them out. Who are some of these players, Greg? I mean, why are they so attached to the game? Well, they've dedicated, well, I can't say dedicated, but they've put five to six years of their life into this game. Uh, some of them put hundreds or even thousands of dollars as well into decorating their apartments, decorating their avatars, um, sharing the experience with friends. And to suddenly have that just taken away from you and not have really anything to show is naturally going to be something that's going to disappoint people. Uh, also, on top of that, the communities, the friends that they've made, suddenly this outlet that they've had just is going to disappear. Yeah, there have been um, some petitions, even people wanting a boycott of Zynga. What do you make of this passion that people have? I can definitely understand where they're coming from. Uh, it's Don't get me wrong, it's also surprised me vocal the community has been, and I can definitely say that it's this vocal community that has um, allowed the dialogue between us and Zynga to, to happen. I mean, I don't think Zynga would have taken this seriously had there only been two people that would have said, hey, keep the game around. So definitely having a vocal community has been a big part in um, helping save Yeovil and I mean, the potential, uh, I mean, there's no guarantees yet, but it definitely helps along the way. The gaming world is such a different place now, though, compared to when Yeovil first debuted. There's a lot more competition. So um, is it worthwhile for you to keep it going? Absolutely. Uh, there's Again, there's a core audience, and that's normally how it ends up working out, is you, you launch a game, it has its highs, it has its lows, but along the way you normally accumulate uh, a very dedicated audience, and it's that dedicated audience that really allows a game to survive in the long term. How confident are you, Greg, that you will be able to reach a deal and keep Yeovil alive? Uh, we're currently in discussions with uh, Zynga. I'm cautiously optimistic. Uh, we don't have anything, obviously, on paper or anything of the like. I mean, it's still a very, very initial discussion. Uh, so it, it's unknown, but as like I said, I'm cautiously optimistic. What happens, though, if you're not successful? Uh, that I can't exactly speak to. I mean, I can. I know as much as the general public does. I assume they'll shut the game down uh, at the end of March, and what from there, I, I can't really say. Oh, boy. Well, I know a lot of people are rooting for you. Greg, thank you very much for speaking with us. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye now. Greg Thompson in London is the creator of the game Yeovil. He is trying to buy it back from the U.S. company Zynga after it announced that it would be shutting down the game in March. What will you do if you have a world that have you have created and spent all this time working on? You can drop me an email, Ontario Morning at cbc.ca. Well, I won't give up. 
。